So you're mixing a song, but the kick and the bass simply isn't hitting the way you want it to hit. So I'm going to show you how to spice up your kick and your bass from sounding like this. To sounding like this. So let me show you how to get the same results. Right here, I have a track. Let's listen. If you listen closely, the kick and the bass are clashing. There are several reasons why this happened. The first reason it could be that you have poor balance. Now this simply means maybe your kick or your bass is too loud and overpowering the other. Now you need to have a good balance between the loudness of the kick and the loudness of the bass. Now the thing with bass is that it can trick you sometimes, make you turn up the volume way louder than it should be because you feel like you need to hear it. But remember, bass is not like other elements that you need to hear. You actually need to feel it more than you hear it, okay? So now we're going to try to adjust the loudness of the kick and the loudness of the 8 so so that it sounds more pleasant together, okay? So right here, this is the kick. And I can simply just adjust the loudness. Also adjust the loudness of the 808 a little bit. Now we can hear that the kick is no longer overpowering the 808 and the 808 is also pretty clear in this production. Now the second reason why your kick and your bass are clashing is because you have poor sound selection. If you don't use the right combination of kick and bass, you will keep having a low end that isn't sounding clear. I typically advise my students to use sharp kicks with a bass that sounds round or a round kick with a bass that sounds sharp. For example, right here, this is an 808. This is a kick. Really sharp kick. Then we have another kick. Now this is a round sounding kick, okay? It sounds round. It sounds heavy at the bottom, okay? And I turn this off. This is the sharp kick, or okay? And then this is the 808. When I play together, you can see how you can hear both the kick and the 808 playing together. But when I turn this off and I put this on, you can hear it kind of sounds lost in the mix. And even if I turn up the volume, you can see it sounds like it's fighting for attention in the low end. So in cases like this, it's important to pick out the right kind of kick and the right kind of 808 or bass. Now the third reason why your kick and your bass may be clashing is because you do not use EQ properly. Alright? Now when using EQ, you need to cut out frequencies that are necessary in the mix so that other elements can be heard clearly, especially the kick. Now we're going to use an EQ to analyze the frequencies and then cut out the unwanted frequency. This EQ at the top right here is for the 808 and this EQ right here is for the kick. So let's listen and see. So if you observe closely, you hear that the 808 had a bulk of its frequency that is where it's really dominant, somewhere around here, around the 50 to 60 hertz range, right? But while the kick has a lot of frequency, even going all the way down here, even down to the 30 hertz range, okay? So now we're going to cut out up until where just the dominant frequencies exist, okay? So I'm going to come right here, use an EQ, right click, use a high pass order step eight now i'm going to be careful here i don't want to cut so much that it loses too much power okay so i'm going to adjust starting with the 808 
So let's see how it sounds when we turn off the EQ. So we should turn this off. Turn this off to as well. Then we're listening now. When it's turned on. Now it may sound like a soft to change, but this is going to be a huge difference as we progress in the mix. Now, if after solving all of these common problems and your kick still isn't cutting through your 808 or your bass line, then you can use a process called sidechain. Sidechain simply helps your bass create more room anytime your kick hits so it sounds clearer. Now you can use sidechain for mixing purposes to create room in a mix or for creative purposes if exaggerated to give a bass a different feel anytime the kick plays. First, let's see how we can use sidechain for mixing situations. So in FL Studio, it's pretty easy as long as you're routed to the mixer, Ctrl L to route each of these items right here, each of these sounds to the mixer. Make sure it's selected. All right. So I'm going to just come right here at the bottom. This is the kick. I want to route the kick into the 808. So whenever the kick hits, it tells the 808 or the bass to dock. Or to give it some space okay so i'm going to left click this right here now it is routed into it but i'm not going to reduce the volume because i don't want the loudness to be amplified thinking that it's a send okay no it's not a send i'm going to reduce this okay then i'm going to come right here now there are many plugins you can use to sidechain okay but i typically like fruity limiter because it's pretty easy to understand and it gets the job done as well. So I'm going to come to compression. Okay. Then I'm going to come to where it says side chain. I'll right click it. You can see it says kick SC2, which is the name of the kick. And I'm going to reduce the threshold. Okay. Then I'll adjust this to taste. Okay. And when I turn it off, now you can see when it's turned off, you can hear more of the 808 hitting at the same time with the kick. But when it's turned on, you hear less of the 808. And sometimes we need to adjust the balance again. For example, I think I need to reduce the volume again of the kick. Now let's use the side chain creatively, okay? So I'm still going to Holding Control Shift, I can highlight multiple sounds, okay? Then Control Shift and L to link multiple tracks to the mixer, okay? So the same thing, I'm going to send in the kick into the bass. Come right here, and then use the Fruity Limiter. The way it says Comp, right click, Kick. So now I'm going to use it creatively, okay? And I'm going to play with this knee and the ratio, okay? Here what happens when I exaggerate the knee and the ratio. As soon as I turn off the kick, I turn it back on. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so other people that need help can easily find this video. And also hit the subscribe button to keep up with more tutorials and helpful videos like this. I remain so classy. See you soon. Cheers.